Hey guys, it's uh, Tom from WinRooms. I'm just going to take a quick look at um, Windows 8 on the Slate PC. So the first thing you'll notice is you get the lock screen when you're about to use uh, Windows 8. And it bounces up and down, very similar to the Windows Phone lock screen. So you slide up and then you're presented with your uh, user account. Now there's various ways to actually log in. Um, you can see probably some of the login options on here. So you can log in with a password. Um, or a picture or an actual pin. So let's just go for the pin. Now, what you see when we first log in is like the tiles, very similar to Windows Phone once again. And you can scroll through those, pretty smooth, very, very fluid. And now, this is the sort of default configuration of the actual tiles at the moment. And um, you can see I've actually added, you know, like, sort of customised some of the some of the apps, so they're actually showing the live tiles, so similar to Windows Phone once again. Um, you've got Internet Explorer, so you can go in here and you can slide up from the bottom to reveal the address bar. Go on, go on, WinRumors. And now to get back, you can just simply slide to different apps that you've that you've run before. So you can see I'm sliding through. And on the right hand side, if you swipe across, you get the new start menu or start button. And that brings you back to the start screen. Um, now, this is the new control panel. So you can see it's very metro. Um, we get all the various options on here. We'll dig deeper into these in uh, various other videos. Um, you've also got um, a number of applications that are pre installed. Um, so you've got a few games on there, got like alarms, some ran random applications, and the new um, sort of sidebar, should we say, um, you, you get the core settings of the start button, uh, been able to search, uh, share what whatever you're doing, so maybe if we go into a browser, you can slide across, and you can share that on any inbuilt apps. Let's go back. Uh, you can also search through various apps. And you've got devices. So any devices that are connected up to the system. And then back into the, the settings. So in settings you will get um, your sort of basic access to screen brightness, your sound, and your Wi-Fi networks. Uh, you can also shut down the power off here as well and read any notifications that the system has. And they're fairly basic preferences in this, this part of the settings. So you have to go into the full blown control panel for sort of more settings.